All right, guys. Well, we're gonna learn a new skill. This first skill that we're gonna learn is called uh, data wires. And data wires take information from one block and um, carry it over into a second block. So we'll go ahead and take a look at how that works here. And we're gonna do it in a couple ways just to kind of learn a few different uh, techniques with it. The first way that we'll learn how to use it is to make our robot drive really slowly forward. And as it drives forward, we're gonna have the ultrasonic sensor detect how far away some object is. And then as it is detecting that distance, it's going to display that distance on our block, on the display block. And then we'll also change out the program just slightly so that um, it will drive slowly over top of some different colors and it will display the color on the display block as well. So that's going to be the goal. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we're going to be able to do that. We're going to first come down and we're going to use our move steering block and we're going to go ahead and click on on just to turn it on and we're going to just change it to five. That's our speed. We're going to make it just go really slow. Then we're going to go ahead and put it inside of a loop or a loop next. And I'm going to change it from unlimited and I'm going to change it to brick buttons. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to stop the program by just pushing one of the buttons on the bricks. So if I take a look at and hear um, at what these buttons are, these show us which button we would hit in order to make it uh, turn off. Right now it's set to the center, which is good. I like that. I'm going to keep it on that one. And then this button shows us what will happen. So when the button is pressed, it will turn off. Once I've put my loop in, I'm going to come down here to the bottom where it says sensor. And this is where all our sensors are stored. And I'm going to come over here and choose the ultrasonic sensor. And I'm going to put this in place. And I'm going to have it measure the distance in inches. Then what I want to do is I'm going to come back over and I'm going to take my green one. And this is again a new one that we've never used. This is called the display. And I'm going to go ahead and put the display up here then as well. Once I've put my black in place, the first thing that I want to do is I want to click down here where it says image. And I want to say text and I want to say grid. And what that's going to do is it's going to just affect the way that it shows up on our display on the brick itself. Secondly, then I'm going to come up here where it says Mindstorms, and I'm just going to say Wired. And what that's going to do is it's going to um, take whatever information we feed it in here, and it's going to display on there. So when we say Wired, that means that it's being connected by a data wire. Okay, now... In order to actually make this show up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my ultrasonic sensor. You see when I come over this little space here that I get this blue kind of spool of wire. And what I want to do is I'm going to take that and I'm going to drag it down and I'm going to drag it over here to the T. And what will happen then is any data that our ultrasonic sensor is picking up it's going to send through our data wire over here into our display block. So essentially this is what uh, it takes any output. So anything that any data that is being output by the sensor that sends along the data wire and it inputs it into this. So you can think of it as like when something happens it sends it from one place to the other and the data wire is the thing that connects it together. So that's going to come over here. All right. So let me go ahead and I'm going to plug in my robot and we'll check it out and see what happens. Okay, so I've put my program on to the robot. And so when I run it, you'll see now it's moving very slowly forward, and as it's doing that, the ultrasonic sensor is detecting how far away the wall is and displaying it on there. Now, we just showed how we can show the distance. So what I want to do next is I actually want to show how it can read what color 
we are driving over top of as well. So I'm going to come down to my sensor and I'm going to pick the color sensor. And this time I'm going to just drag that up there. And this one's pretty easy. All I have to do again is just take the color sensor block, drag it over here to the T, drop it on there. And I'm going to go ahead and transfer that onto my robot and then we'll check it out and see how it works. Okay, so I've put my program onto the robot. I'm going to go ahead and run it. And you'll see that what happens is that it, as it goes over top of these folders, it displays a number on the screen. Now the number relates to a number that corresponds with colors. So we will have to go look and see which one it is. You may also have noticed that when it was on blue, it kind of went between numbers two and three. And uh, that's just because these folders are maybe don't match exactly the color that Lego has set for colors. So it's kind of going back and forth and we can see that. But we can see that the color sensor was working, that it was displaying the number with the color there as well on the screen.